plastic lotion pumps, one of the most popular dispensing methods in the personal care and beauty industry, come in all shapes and sizes. Millions of people use it every day, everywhere. What is the magic to transfer lucid from bottom to user's hand? How does it work? You may think the mechanism is very simple. Think twice. Do you really know the answer? Let's take a look. A lotion pump acts much like an air suction device that draws the product from the bottom to user's hand. While there are hundreds of different designs in the market today, the basic principle is the same. The pump on the dispenser is attached to a tube that runs into the soup. Salt. When the pump is pushed down, it pushes the air and soap on top of the tube. When the pump is released, the soap is drawn up the tube, sucking the soap up the tube and on top of the pump. How does it work successfully? Lotion pump always includes six major parts. Actuator, closure, and gasket, chamber. Inner components inside the chamber including steam, piston, spring and bore, and finally a deep tube. Deep tube is a long plastic tube that extends the reach of the lotion pump to the bottom of the bottle, transiting the soft. And the chamber holds all the pump components in place as well as acting as sending the product from the deep tube to the actuator. When user press down the actuator, the piston moves to compress the spring and the upward air pressure draws the bore down, and the bore blocks the pathway of air to run below. While the volume of chamber reduces, the air pressure in the chamber increases. To keep the balance, the air escaped from the actuator, enabling air pressure to come back to a normal pressure level, and the soap in the chamber is also drawn up. As the user releases the actuator, the spring returns the piston and the actuator into its up position, and the wall is returned to its resting position. While the volume of chamber increases, the air pressure in the chamber becomes lower than the atmospheric pressure because the piston blocks the outer air to enter in, and the liquid is drawn up into the deep tube and subsequently the chamber. Then the boy seals the chamber and prompt the liquid product from falling back down into the bottom. This initial circle is called priming. Next, when the user presses down the actuator again, the product that is already in the chamber will be drawn from the chamber, so the steam and the actuator, and dispense on top of the pump and onto the user's hand. Except using at the first time, the chamber always stores some liquid, so users can just press once and get the soap from chamber. And when they release, the priming process will prepare the soap for the next time pressing. A common misconception is that when pressing actuator, people may think some mechanical device in the pump compresses the liquid into two and draw it up. However, the mechanism does not work on liquid directly. In fact, the spring in the chamber changes its volume along with inner air pressure, and the air pressure push liquid into tube and up to the chamber. To make the air pressure change in chamber, it is important to make the bottle sealed, leaving the actuator as the only exit. Closure can screw the entire assemble onto the neat finish of the bottle. And the gasket is often frustration fitted to the inside of the closure, 
and it acts as a gasket barrier on the bottle end area to prevent product leakage. Let's make a quick wrap up. When the pump is pushed down, it pushes the air and soft in the chamber on top of the tool. When the pump is released, because the air pressure in the chamber is lower than normal level, the soft is drawn up the tool and stored in the chamber.